Joffrey Renly Rob Stark are all thieves. They'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Citadel with me, Grand Mr. Stitch, where we return to our house gardener playthrough once again. I hope you're all well, I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and if you hadn't seen on the channel, we have now got dragons. We've got the dragon update, so you can check out the Daemon Targaryen playthrough that we're doing, and we're also doing a Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlords Realm of Thrones playthrough as the Sons of Anger, so there's lots going on on the channel right now if you want to check out any of those series but anyway let's delve back into lord mern the unfaithful of highgarden who most recently in the last episode it's been a little bit of a break between episodes um so if you can't remember where we're at he has most recently taken the lands of house fossaway as we continue our expansion throughout the reach as we try and claim our ancestral lands of the kingdom of the reach so our next plan is to try and get more of these lands around the Manda, such as Darkdale and Darstone. Um, I don't believe we can declare any sort of war upon these like we could for these pettier lordships. So we are going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. We're going to have to get those claims and then move on in that way. So let's get our Septon. Oh, he's already in Darkdale. I'm being stupid. I'm being stupid. We've already set that up. Um, our vassal created the loyalist faction. That's good. Okay. Um, strange seeds. While in the market, I come across a vendor who claims to be selling seeds from a far off land. I'll buy them. Ten gold. Why not? Um, but we did land some of those characters in the last episode. We've got another gardener branch now. Lord Garland, our son, who is the gardeners of white grove it'd be nice to make some of these into cadet branches and make some interesting sigils going forward um too much of a good thing yeah we're, we're not gonna let either of our lovers go again so it might break me but what is life without love we're not near a stress limit or anything like that so we haven't got to worry about that uh offer knight tutelage sender lord anselm of darstone uh i would like for your courtier alexander willem to become the squire of tyler harper Okay, he's a decent knight, so yeah, sure, let's let's go for that. If we've got anything else, we can negotiate a potential alliance with Jamie Lannister, which we know is not going to happen. So there's not much else at present that we can do. We do want to bring those green apples back, if you can remember how we were looking into that in the last episode. We did, I believe, a range. If we go to the new barrel, I'm pretty sure that we did create a... Um, marriage proposal with one of the last green apples that are around somewhere which one was it with oh no she's died jane fossaway has died so the green apples of house fossaway are now officially wiped out officially officially gone no more green apples of house fossaway so that means that we don't have anyone for that betrothal either anymore, do we? We were trying to set up a marriage with the young last member of House Fossaway. So now, what do we do with New Barrel now? Who do we give that to? Do we give it to a separate branch of House Fossaway? I don't really think there's many people about in the way of Red Fossaways either, other than the actual Lord himself. There are like literally not many fossways around there all women lord quinton of berkeley elbin son of wolves of house fossaway and lord simon of cider crossing so we do have you who doesn't have any lands you are wed to verwell you are are you a courtier lord quent at lord quentin's court but are you you're his sibling okay and we do have some younger fossaway so let's grant you the titles of New Barrow, because we do need to get rid of some of these, don't we? So we'll give you the Lordship of New Barrow and grant that title. We are trying to get some of those other houses back within our land, so we will do that. Uh, my child, Mern, has always been an odd duck, not standing to inherit, saved by grave accident, and always muttering about snarks and grumpkins beyond the wall. It comes as no surprise to me that when he comes to me puffing his chest, my lord, I have made up my mind, he says, as boldly as he's ever spoken to me, I'm going to join the Night's Watch. I wish to take the black. 
wasn't you betrothed to a member of House Appleton, though, which is what we needed. But if you want to join the Black, you go and sir, join the Black. But we are going to need to now arrange a marriage to try and get you back. Strange seeds grow. One morning when I venture out to the garden, I see that the seeds are high and have indeed sprouted. Hopefully they grow well in the reaches of rich soil. I wonder what we've planted. Um, but yeah, we need to arrange a marriage with you and keep House Appleton alive somehow. We don't really have anyone in our core. I wanted to do it to someone that we can then keep you in our core. We've got some Lannisters in our core. Interesting. As well as a Baratheon, our grandson. Hmm. How old is she? She's 10. We've got a jewel. Who's spindly. And bleed at Wow. Two awful traits. But they will both accept. So we'll go for it. And hopefully then get the Appletons back in their lands and then we've also got the other ones that we're trying to get but we've still got the ambroses unfortunately who still haven't returned to their seat of torrent peak and look at the title history and see if we can find some other ambroses the finds of the plant seem to be spreading everywhere and very quickly though the plant is healthy and flowery my god and is a worried it could choke out the nearby plants uh oh and yeah we've got that marriage sorted so the Ambroses do go right back. We have Aris Ambrose, who's 19, but he's too far away to negotiate with. He's beyond the wall for some strange reason, but he is married, going to be married to our daughter at some point. Um, strange seeds, melons. My gardeners have done well to keep the ever-growing vines contained, and they have noticed strange melons growing on the vines. Upon harvesting them, a brave servant offered to give one a taste. Luckily, the melons are very sweet and not toxic. My gardeners keep debating where the seeds may have originated from. Some think perhaps the Vale, while others suspect Essos, or perhaps even the Summer Isles. I bet they will sell nicely. I'll send them to local lords. I'll donate them to the Faith. I've got plenty of prestige, so we'll sell them. Yeah, but I want to have a look at the Ambroses. If we go back far enough. House Peak. House Peak. Wow, yeah, there's not any like other branches of ambrose around so he is literally the last living member of house ambrose my lord i was able to fetch a secret i'm not interested at present so aris ambrose beyond the wall is the last surviving ambrose and not willing to join our court in faction to sword lord elbin of new barrel on the orchard way throne orchard way throne interesting okay let's speed things on there's not a lot that we can do at present what have we got here knight tutelage clement the craven colton but he's actually a decent knight. Gets Derek Duel as his squire for a while. Yeah, sure. See if we can improve him ever so slightly, I suppose. And see what becomes of him. I don't think there's any other wars that we can do at present. You're allied to the Fossilways. We can declare war on you, though, for a petty lordship. But we won't do that. But... Ah, okay. I have proud through documents, both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the Lordship of Darkdale. Indeed, I could even argue that you are the rightful lord of the High Lordship of Darkdale. Present my claim on Darkdale. Yes, all of Darkdale will be mine. At least then we can try and just get the High Lordship and hopefully subjugate them. But that means we can now move you on to Darstone to try and get a claim upon the lands over there. Still can't have an admiral. That's fine. Right, so we can't declare war because we're currently in debt. So we'll have to wait for that to recover, which shouldn't take too long. Yeah, I didn't think we'd be allowed to get that alliance, but it's worth checking. Increased military presence in the peak lands, which is nice. Uh, the negotiator, during my afternoon stroll down the streets of Highgarden, my daughter Mina runs up to me. Father, they just started swinging at one another when she's interrupted by a high-pitched shriek, turning her attention to the fight down the street. The combatants appear to be a couple of pages from my court, circling each other in preparation for another tussle. 
break it up, both of you. We gain some learning lifestyle experience and 75 prestige. Exciting, I'd like to place a bet. There's a 46% chance we win. Or this will greatly further Mina's diplomacy education. Yeah, let's go with that. We want our daughter to grow well. And we've unlocked her diplomacy lifestyle per level of fame impact plus 100. Or diplomacy per level of flame plus 1. Let's go for life of glory. We should be able to max out this tree, hopefully. Our councillor died. Lord Pellis Pommingham died from his wounds. So we're going to need a new... Who do we need? We need a new chancellor. Lord Gwain the Hunter. But he is... He's our... Hand of, hand, not hand of the king, but our Castellan. So we don't really want to take him away. We've got a lady here, though. Lady Pommingham. We've also got Lord Mace, but he's actually not a diplomat. Neither of you are, are actually diplomats, actually, to actually look into it. So, oh, you are technically, I suppose. We'll go for you. Dangerous faction with military power. Oh, okay. Uh, faction to install Lord Elvin of New Barrel on the Orchard Way throne. Hmm. Let's see what we can do here to stop this faction. It's got three members. All of the Fossil Ways, of course. And Lord Mace of Gradenbat. Yeah, so it's not... Yeah, it's a dangerous faction, but they're not going to have a lot of manpower in it are they can we do something to end this not got much chance of imprisoning him Let's see if we can try and improve things then. What are you currently doing? Domestic affairs. Yeah, we'll keep you doing that. Collect taxes, increase development, promote culture, promote culture acceptance. Oversee realm, preside over council. You can oversee the realm for now. Support schemes, find secrets. Disrupt schemes. Okay. We'll see how this goes. It could end up being bad for us, but we'll see how it goes. I, I think we can, hopefully... Well, we, we shouldn't have any trouble there if we if they do raise against us. We should easily be able to quell them. Uh, our acquaintance, King Stannis, the noble of Dragonstone, has passed away. At the age of 58 from being ill. Who is the new... Oh, wow, nice. Who's she? Queen Janella. She looks interesting, to say the least. But at least Stannis has been succeeded. And he had a son. See, uh, Unwin, the son and heir of my vassal Lord Mace, has accused my vassal Lord Mace of having had an affair with his daughter-in-law, Victoria. I do not see what the fuss is about. It is not as if lust is an unnatural affliction. So, hang on. So, he's he been having... Has he been... Nobbing his son's wife? Oh my god, yes. That is awesome. Awful. This crime cannot go unpunished. God. Um, by doing that, all of her family loses 30% opinion of us. The accusations are not but mal. No, we'll, we'll go with it. And see if we can sort that out. Has she actually... Yeah, we can actually ransom her for 10 gold, which we... I, I wanted to actually imprison this guy. Instead, I was hoping that we'd be able to do that. Because he's actually in the faction, so we could have then... Um, Benis Appledore has been swayed. Ah, yes, we were trying to invite you to court, wasn't we? We've improved it slightly. You were one of the ones that we wanted to land. Uh, under the soldier pine, in the scorching midday heat, they sit on the shadow under a great stone pine. Playing on lutes and flutes, they sing in many tongues, yet my heart can understand every word. I can hear them from my balcony, and they stir my soul. My love for me fills my heart with song. We gain the trait poet, as well as a journaler. We've got a bit of gold for him having his daughter-in-law back. And Mina has come of 
age. Uh, with her coming of age, my tuition of Mina is at an end. Even as a child, Mina has always been had a way with words. She's therefore unsurprising that she has taken so well to the study of diplomatic relations. A true silver tongue. She could sway the opinion of counts and kings alike. When she speaks, the court listens. Awesome. So she's actually become a gracious envoy, which is really nice. Um, children brought of this dynasty will be one of Aris Ambrose's dynasty. Chance of children. We'll accept, and hopefully he'll come to our court. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. I will graciously take the hand of your daughter, Mina, in holy matrimony. May our union. Awesome. And he's now actually in our land. Perfect. So we can now... It means we lose our daughter, who's an incredible diplomat, though. Probably my favourite of his children, actually. She's been the most interesting and entertaining throughout the series. She's way down in the... Wow, she's the second youngest, actually. Which I didn't realise. He's oldest is 36 now. I forget how long's passed. But yeah, I think Mina's probably my favourite of his children that he's had. Um, but yeah, let's grant you the title. The Lordship of Torrent Peak gives us a loyal vassal as well, don't it? And it gets the Ambroses back where they belong. Gives us that alliance as well, keeps them in line. Perfect. One more house reinstated. And back in power. And now we should. Let's see what we can actually do with this war. We can press all of our claims to the High Lordship of Dartdale, which will hopefully just make him a vassal. So we will declare one. We'll go straight for that. I don't know who he's got as allies. He's got several rulers as allies. But we do have our own allies who are going to join. Well, he's joined us. The guy who's actually going against us in a faction which is interesting and i wasn't expecting um we can call up allies let's see what we're like manpower wise he's got eight thousand we've got seventeen thousand because okay okay so the fossil ways have also joined us we might not actually need to call any of our allies we can afford to though i suppose so it probably wouldn't be the end of the world if we were to call up. I can't believe Robert's still alive. Uh, it probably won't be the end of the world if we were to call up House Tartley, just because they're so close by. So we will do that. And they give us a hell of a lot of manpower, don't they, as well. So 7,000 of our own men. My dear grandfather, of course I shall join you in this war. I love how our grandson's got that nice Valyrian steel sword. It'd be nice to get our own Valyrian steel sword at some point. And here we go. All of our troops joining us gives us a nice big host. And Lady Leah of Cider Crossing. And, oh, okay. So another fuss away bites the dust. Can we arrange a marriage to you? Who do we have? Someone who's not really of importance that we can send over your way. Matrimonial marriage, she will not accept. Have we got anyone else that we can send over that she might accept so that we can keep House Foss away going on? I don't think she's going to accept any of our courtiers here. All of way too low a birth for her, it would seem. Auckland Willem will not accept. What about the other Tarly boy? She will accept that, our other grandson. Why not? Yes, we'll send that proposal. And it links everybody together a little bit better, doesn't it? We've got our 7,000 men here. Let's march across the Manda. An alliance formed with those Fossways as well, which hopefully gets things back under control a little bit. Uh, you can ransom your vassal for 50 gold but they will not accept that's fine we'll get him back after the war when you are our vassal don't worry about that we have lost our steward though who do we have for stewards hmm lady floris of sour state who likes us oh but he's a prosperous sensual so yeah we'll assign him for now he's the best option at the moment can we please march our host across the manda please we've got a nice bridge here to cross so no reason why I can't just go across. Where's the capital? It's over there, isn't it? Oh no, we're at the capital now. That's fine. Let's 
Yeah, let's go get the capital and siege. Vassal taken prisoner. Wow, they're, they're taking many of our vassals prisoners in this war. Can pay vassal ransom for a hawk. No, I'm not going to do that because we'll get them back, so it's fine. Uh, a spy was discovered. Who sent you? My has discovered a spy. Aubrey of House Alansa. Ah, oh, that's the guy who's in our court, isn't it? Oh. Um, Aubrey willingly exposed who is spying on you, begging you for mercy. It was Lord Gullion of House Ginnett. How do you to proceed? Aubrey will be banished. Must write in a cell. There's only one punish for this crime. Death. Are we merciful? But this scheming has to stop. Let's have a look at him. Is he decent? Um, I'm going to put him in a cell and then negotiate his release. Take the vows. Becomes a septon. No, he's not much of a Oh, he could be a septon, actually. Uh, gain a weak hook. Not worth it. Banish to the Knight's Watch. But we have... To oh, uh, pays 25 gold to you. Yes. Send him to the wall. Let's end this siege. Hopefully pretty quickly. Greetings, Lord Man of High God. I have no choice but to accept your conditions. Located in Sunspear. Okay, so he's only banished from the kingdom. I didn't. I thought that would have sent him to the Night's Watch. It's interesting that we had a son go to the Night's Watch. Though. I've not actually had that happen yet in all the time I've been playing the mod. An acidic accident uh, a few days ago. Arwen, the learned daughter of my vassal Leah, took part in an experiment uh, with oil of a vitriol concocted by the celebrated alchemist Harris. Apparently something went horribly wrong. You must punish Harris severely, Lady Leah told me. Behold the wretched state of my daughter. No, my lord, Harris begs. I have merely perfected a formula long sought by the wise. It is not my fault that Arwen were careless with a vial of the most corrosive substance yet seen on earth. I do have space in my dungeon for the scrawny alchemist. Or no one is to blame here. You must forgive each other. Let's have a look at this scrawny alchemist. Why, well, he's actually pretty good. Arwen Payne. Oh, is the mother of Lady Leah. Leah tells The wretched state of my daughter, Lady Leah tells me. No, that's your mother, dear, not your daughter. Um, I don't really want to be upsetting our daughter-in-law, though, either. So, hmm. yeah, we'll go for that option so that we keep our daughter-in-law happy. We want to keep the Fosways on side. They were plotting against us, of course, so we do need to be careful of that. Oh, and the Rowan army is trying to take... My land, but a valuable prisoner has been captured. We have Lord Mace took Lord Clifford's son and heir, Vortimore prisoner. After the siege, we're going to have to march south to High Garden because it is under siege. Hopefully, the Tarleys are going to come with us. That they are. Let's finish off this Rowan host. Hopefully, our allies arrive, and they have arrived. Uh, greetings. Whoa, whoa. Loads of things coming up. Um, I have proud through documents, both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough criteria to make the case that you are the rightful lordship of Hay Holt. See it done. Uh, greetings, Lord Mayor of High God, and my regrets that it has come to this. I know that you are Master Randall's real killer. If you wish for my silence, you will do as I say. Master Randall. Did we kill Master Randall? Is that certainly failed? Oh, God, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Um gets a weak hook on us or we can refuse to be blackmailed lord rickard of the rainwood decline my secret exposed lord rickard of the rainwood has brought forth undeniable evidence of my role in the death of master randall of the of the bendlitz curses it is my it is best i watch my back and prepare my defenses there are many out there who thirst for vengeance i have my reasons we gain the trait murderer whoopsie let's finish this battle though which we should be able to do i thought the romans were on our side as well but have we not got the alliance with the Romans anymore, actually? We could have lost that by now, actually, now that I do think about it. A great victory. 69%. Enemy combatants captured. Ally combatants slain. Ally joins war. Task finished. Yeah, we need to send you off somewhere. Benis Appledore has been swayed a little bit more, which is nice. He's too far away to negotiate with at the minute, though. Dry Lyria, where's that? Across the narrow sea somewhere. We'll get him back somehow. 
Silent Child, Meredith has never been difficult or particularly loud, and it has been evidently on display today. Apparently today she was praying in the set when a horse that was let loose from the stables galloped in. Whether afraid to speak or simply out of piety, Meredith was the only one to not react at all. Such a different child she is. I wonder if the life of a noble lady is really the best thing for her. Will she be able to hold court, to keep a house organised, to raise children? Though I am surprised by the thought, I wonder if she should perhaps join the silent sisterhood she seems the perfect candidate and perhaps would lead a better life there yet could i send my own daughter they live so extremely is this the life i want for her is meredith betrothed to someone yes house rowan nonsense no child of mine will marry the stranger yeah we can't lose that alliance we've already had a nice watchman we don't need to have a, a freaking silent sister in the same episode let's go and help out this foss away host Quite easily as well. We, we need to improve relations with the Fossilways. I can see why they're upset with us. But technically they are supposed to be our vassal. They shouldn't have let the Tyrells usurpers all that time ago. There we go, 100%. Very nice. To my liege, may you live in harmony and contentment. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply. You got the High Lordship of Dorkdale. Lord Clifford, the castle builder of Dardale, becomes a vassal of you. Perfect. So getting the High Lordship the best way to do it. Above vassal limit. Again, that's fine because... Oh yeah, we can't technically transfer the vassals to him, can we? Because we'll... We'll... Um, then lose it by giving him a high lordship we'll lose it so we can't do that we've got an empty council position a marshal what have we got robin hugh brimmingland who's not really i don't know why he's got such good marshal our brother again you can fill pretty much every role on the council um god we've not got much in the way of options lord medwick i suppose is gonna have to do it is the best that we've got we are now touching the ocean, though, so does that mean that we can finally have a high admiral? Yes, we can finally have an admiral, which is nice. Um, we've got our knight. I suppose we could give it to a knight, but we'll give it to a lord instead to keep them happy. It's nice that we are finally touching the ocean. We need to get dark stone, so let's... If we can get the high lordship again, even better. It'd be a lot better if we can do it that way. Hmm. Yeah, I send you here. Available to join a tourney. I don't want to do that. We've got someone that we can ransom, so we will do that. You can pay the ransom for your vassal. No, I'm not going to do that. They'll free him at some point. Realm will lose land, lose land if Lord Danies the frog of hmm, Harvard Hole inherits the High Lordship of Eastworld. Why would you inherit that? It's very random that if that goes to the Vale, that would make no sense whatsoever. High Garden looking very nice there, though. Now, how much of the land do we actually have? Lord Willis. Let's have a look what we can do with you now. Claim Liege's title. We need to control at least 41%. So we're still a way off of that. We can start an independence faction, though, which we might stand a chance of winning now to become kings of the Mandar. Might be worth doing it. But then it would be harder to challenge and attack. <laughs> oh. I think we shouldn't do it just yet, because then we'll have to attack the whole of the Reach, wouldn't we, to try and take land, which wouldn't be the best to have to do. We can actually try and take bits of land here and there off people. It's a shame that we can't just do a sub... If we were a king, though, we could subjugate. So there's also that that would help. And we do still have our alliances with Florence, the Talis, soon... The, well, yeah, the Rowans, so... If we start a... Let's start a faction for it. We'll start an independence faction. We don't have to go through with it yet, do we, until we need to. So, 
Want independence from their liege. Is there any members that we can get to join? No, there isn't. But wow, look. All these people have... Oh, Lord Oliver's opinion of King Willis is 100%. Oh, wow. Seems he's very popular. I'm surprised that we've been allowed to get away with as much as we've been getting away with then. Uh, but we will end today's episode here, guys. So thank you all so much for watching as always. I really hope that you enjoyed. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to leave a like. Comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all very soon for the next video.